Hey guys! Hey! Welcome back. This week we got another video lined up for you. If you watched our unboxing of the HyperX Cloud 2, this week we're going to have the review. Yep, and um, this review is going to be mainly for our console users. These headphones do have the 7.1 sound card that can be used with PC, but we haven't had a chance to experience that yet. So this is just for console, specifically Xbox One. A little bit further into the review, we will have some audio samples, so you will be able to hear what the microphone sounds like, and that is a really important part of the headset. Yeah, um, and if you were one of the people that did see the unboxing, that was one of the main things we were looking for, was the noise canceling mic, um, just because we do have a lot of ambient noise, so we were really hoping that that was going to be um, something that worked really well in this, so we'll discuss how well that worked or didn't work. Slight spoiler. It worked fairly well. It's pretty good. Yeah. So what should we start with? Um, I guess we can just start with kind of a basic overview um, how it works. So if you have a new Xbox One controller with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, all you have to do is just plug it in. That would also be the same if you owned a PlayStation 4 controller. That, that has the same type of system, you just plug it in. Um, the only thing that would be different is if you have the older style Xbox controller, you would have to pick up that adapter first, and that was, how much was that adapter? That was $24.99. Um, I actually had um, one of the older ones, um, so I was kind of debating should I get the um, adapter, but I decided on just buying a new controller because I could. Yeah. It's just easier. Um, so ease of use is really good with this. Yep. You don't have to worry about recharging it. You don't have to worry about an external power source or anything. It's just plug and play. The other aspect of this headset that I really like, and I'm sure you really like as well, is how comfortable it is. Like these leather pads are super comfortable. Like we've had sessions where we've, we've played for hours and hours at a time and if beats anything else that we've ever had. Yeah, for sure. Um, I've never actually had um, headphones that had dual earphones, so it was a different experience for me. I've always had just like the one, um, and I really liked it. It's very good with noise cancellation, even before you're even playing the game. Just like putting it on your head, like everything is muted around you. Um, so that is really nice because you really do get immersed in the game and like the sound quality is so different um, Especially for somebody who hasn't experienced that yet like being able to hear like the stereo sound and everything It was really nice to be able to experience that and I think it does help your gameplay, too Oh, yeah, definitely you pick up a lot of these kind of subtle sounds that you miss if you're just listening through the TV or your sound system because a lot of times you don't think there's a lot of background noise, but there's definitely some thing going on where you don't really pick up all the details. Yeah. So this hasn't been the first gaming headset that I've owned. Um, previous to this, I had the Turtle Beach PX22s. Um, compared to those, these are a lot more comfortable. Um, as far as the sound quality goes, I can't really say for certain, but these have really good sound quality, so I can just kind of say that. Yeah, and we're going to be testing um, the noise canceling mic later, so we can kind of confirm that later in the video too, as far as like the sound quality as well. Um, so we're just going to go through a bunch of other um, headsets that we have and kind of go through um, when we have ambient noise, when we don't have ambient noise in the background. Our biggest thing is our uh, forced air kicking on. Yeah. Um, it was funny because we didn't even tell a lot of the friends that we play um, online with that we had switched over to these headphones and they even commented before we had told them that, hey, whatever you guys did to your sound setup, we don't hear that forced air anymore, so good job. So that is definitely a benefit. We're going to jump right into the HyperX Cloud 2 testing. Uh, right now, there is no in-game audio, as you can tell. This is so you can kind of focus more directly on what the microphone is or is not picking up. Uh, right now, I have it set up so there is no ambient noise, and it's about as quiet as this room can get. So this is with absolutely no background noise at all. I'm going to go around and kill off a few more of these bots. and. 
if you want to stick around, there will be some other headsets that we're kind of putting through the paces, and you can kind of see how the HyperX compares to those. So the furnace is running still, and the heat is definitely up there. The sweat's starting to drip down the side of my face, but when you compare it to outside, I'll take it because there's snow on the ground and it's freezing out there. I'm not a big fan of winter, so any excuse to turn up the heat for a little bit is fine in my book. Go around, kill a couple more of these bots, and then I'm actually going to include the game audio so you can kind of get a sample of how it will sound while you're actually playing. We got the game audio included now. I'll just go around, see if I can pick off a couple more headshots. Double kill. Uh, looks like I got my alt charged. Let's just send it through this wall and I am here. let's see how many I can get. Just send it blindly. And there's one. Alright. Solid. One. <laughs> Alright, well, this concludes the testing for the HyperX Cloud 2. In the next clip, we're going to test the Turtle Beach PX-22s. And I'll see if I can get a few more headshots on these bots. Not really hard to do, but I figure it's a good practice to get my aiming down a little bit better. It's been a while since I played Hanzo, and I know a lot of people don't like Hanzo, but that's a different topic for a different day. See if we can get a few headshots, and before I use my ult, kill this bot down here. Oh, nope, missed. Kill that bot down there, and we'll ult through here, see how many we can pick off. There's one, there's two, there's three, a triple kill. These are from Soul Republic. These are the Trax HD. Well, they're not necessarily a gaming headset. I do have them laying around and they are able to pick up audio when you are talking. So figured we'd throw these in the comparison mix as well. Right now, the furnace is still running. Um, I'm gonna alt through this guy and I'll like, probably pick up one. This is the original chat headset that came with the original Xbox One. As you can see, it's designed for the old style controller, but we're going to give it a test as well. My controller does some funky stuff because it fell on the ground. Uh, it's not because I don't know how to play Hanzo. It just won't. It just won't. It just... Oh, it will. There we go. <laughs> we'll see how well this does. And again, I don't know if you remember, but this controller is all messed up. We have... These are skull candies. Is that right? Yeah, not mine. Hot pink. <laughs> see if we can get a headshot on that guy, on the Shadero, on this guy, and let's alt this one down because it's one. Yeah! Our furnace is currently running at full force. We'll just go around, pick off a few more of these real quick. These ones we're going to test are some JVCs. I picked them up, I think, for $10. Uh, I picked these up one day on launch. Uh, I figured I'd throw these in the mix as well. So we're just going to go around this area here. Alt through here blindly because why not? As you guys can see from the audio tests, um, the HyperX Cloud 2 is by far the best. Definitely came out on top, um, and the microphone is five stars. <laughs> yes, by, by far. Um, it exceeded our expectations because when I'm sitting in my chair, I'm about four or five feet away from where the forest air is originating so mm -hmm. it's very loud yeah um so like we were saying before people noticed even before we like let them know that we were using a new pair of headsets so um that was a bonus as well um so we hope that those clips were helpful for you and kind of give you an idea of how well these work and if they're going to work out for you um for whatever your situation might be um i guess we can go through some cons that I guess aren't really cons, but just some things for you guys to know. Um, the only thing that I had a problem with is I wear glasses sometimes. So with my glasses and wearing the headphones over them, I do get like a little bit of a pain behind my ear, but I think that's with any pair of headsets. So I don't think that's anything specific to the HyperX. Um, so I will, when nobody can see my face, wear my glasses like up at an angle so I can still see or I'll wear contacts and it's been fine. Um, other than that, 
What do you think? Um, I don't have any cons myself. Um, the only, the only things I have are good. Yeah. It's definitely one of the better headsets I've ever owned. Mm -hmm. So. Um, the only other thing I would mention is, um, and this is probably an unusual situation, but just something to throw out there. I'm kind of loud when I'm playing and we will, when we're streaming, we're in the same room because we just like to be in the same room together. So we're dorks and we have like side-by-side -side TVs and side-by-side -side consoles. So I'm not very far from him. So when I'm loud, it will pick up my voice in his headset. Um, so there's a little bit of an echo, but that's probably not a normal setup for most of you out there. But just something to keep in mind, say you're gaming and you have somebody like in the room with you or something like that, and if they're being loud, it's possible that they could get picked up in the headset. But other than that, these have been amazing. So yeah. definitely recommended. Yeah, definitely worth the money. 100%. So in the end, I suggest you buy. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys for watching this week, and uh, we hope this information was helpful to you. Um, if you have any specific questions, uh, just let us know in the comments, and we'll be more than happy to answer those. And um, if you've got any other feedback for us or um, things that you want us to test out in the future, let us know, and um, we'll be happy to do so. Yeah, so if you guys haven't done it already, please subscribe, and then... Oh, yeah. So, as we always like to close out, just remember, you don't need water to make waves. You just need fingers. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, my God, I'm still looking down there. So you just switch your back. No, 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 no. I'm kind of looking there too, so just switch it back. Well, then we have to line it all up again. Just do it. No, we're good. Okay. Focus. Stare. Read it. Stare. That's where it is. Look away. Look there. at the, the silver part. Okay. Pay attention to the silver. Silver. So look away. Focus on the silver. Look away. Focus on the silver. We're training ourselves to look at the silver. Ready? Boom. Uh. Uh. Except mine uh, doesn't have silver uh, on it. Well, guess what? This one has silver. <laughs> and ready, go.